grow. Right, so we have this. So, you know, obviously you could you know, go across it and you know whatnot. So I'm just going across, making my way. I remember me and Robert shot here some one time before. You, know, you got rocks. That's kind of a cool area. Then you could just make your way up there, or. Make your way up this trail. I don't know if it's a trail, maybe. Alongside. So this is actually a good spot. Probably jump then. So you jump that. You're over by this area. Right? So. Again, you jump another one. So that's up there, you straight across. So you got a nice area where you kind of have an argument or a talk alongside these two streams. Um, and then, you know, I don't know how much these trees are gonna be in bloom, but the point is to get the thing done in a couple days and to not worry about that kind of shit. So, continue up here and I believe then there's a trail. They got a nice big tree you can hang out by. Again, there is up there the fields with the overgrown stuff over that uh, structures. Here's a, t there's a down tree right here. and you continue to go across and then you got this area which is kind of cool because it kind of goes down a little bit again you got some sort of thing I don't know if there's any water in it alright see a little divot thing and that goes along that way Maybe an idea is to follow, you know, like follow like the river or something. You know, that could be a possibility. Follow the river. You know, I don't want to go. That's towards houses. This is more. We're more going towards the ocean or out towards you know the bay or whatever. It's called. So again, straight back that way is the place. We are going east now, I believe. And this is a good area, because you kind of have nothing around, you have a nice big rock, which is cool. Um, with the stream, that's cool. Plymouth Rock. Anyway, little Blair Witch uh, thing. Um, you know, so you got that. That's a cool tree, actually. No. It's gonna be hard to do with the Bolex. Maybe you do, you know, a shoulder mount because you have to kind of shoot like this. Maybe I don't know. So anyway, that's the tree. I'm kind of heading north now. I gotta go meet with the contractor at our house. One o'clock. This 
so I figured I'm shooting a lot, might as well shoot with the VHS, see how this looks. And, okay, now here's another trail. Okay, so we come to a trail now. We don't have to act if it's a trail, we can continue to go, but here is a trail that leads to a bridge. So here's one bridge. Right, so maybe they progress. They're going towards the bridges. Yeah, you know, going through there and whatnot. Going through another bridge. You know, with the stream. Whatever. If you asked me to do this again, I would probably have no idea. <laughs> another bridge. A little small step bridge, I guess. Coming up. Uh, a taken down tree, which is interesting visually. I'm sure it'll still be there, because no one's probably taken that out. Cement slab, that'd be kind of cool to film. You can see that every day. Like broken down wood, which is kind of chopped wood. Kind of cool. You know what I mean? I guess you could take a trail, you know, whatever. I, just, I don't really want to focus much on trails because they're supposed to get lost, the characters. But, let's see, maybe they have a map also. Here at Wellman. Okay, now, if my knowledge is right, I would believe that this would head down to that swamp area. I could be wrong. Here's a place you could sit down, you know, maybe film it that way, you know, I mean, it's woods, no one's really gonna, if you fuck around people's perception, they're not really gonna know. You know, you keep the trails, they say, well, let's, you know, I don't know, whatever, whatever it's gonna be, it's gonna be. Now, this is cool. Because there's like an area in there, but it looks very small, so it's not really a place that you can walk. Um, I'm gonna go down the skinny trail. Oh, this is interesting. A little small. But see, this is a cool spot. Kind of has its own flavor, you know? Uh, you got that and that. Just an opening of. All right, I'm not. Come on, not that slow. Got that opening, you know. Okay. So you got this little opening. Okay, but I jump down. Oh, okay, and then I go into the water. Ugh. This is weird, I've never seen this before. Reminds me of the other area around here with the fallen down trees. So that's like the golden rye down there, whatever it is. Oh, you know what? We're by the sticks. Okay. All right, all right, so make a mental note of that. The sticks, that's where, so the thing's up that way with the thing. You're coming down this way, obviously it's a long way. This goes towards the, the road that goes down to the beach. And then you have this. Which brings you to this. Which is pretty cool, which I've never seen before. I mean, I have. Probably have just came another different way. Yeah, actually I have seen that before, okay. But the perception is different because you've never been there. Now here's the sticks area. I haven't looked at this in the area in a while. I guess we'll go down there right after. Obviously have this, the big wooden sticks. My trail. It makes sense that someone would be living here too, because obviously trails are man-made. I mean, I don't know, it's a preserve, so. Um, we are walking more and more. What 
greenery around here too that doesn't seem to go away. It's here yearly. So, they might have fixed up this area. I've not seen as many down trees. Although there is one right there, right in the middle. So I now remember when we used to shot here years ago, there was some very heavily knocked down, down, knocked down trees. Maybe they're still here, I don't know. Yeah, no. They're gone. Definitely. Cool little camping area though. People come to. Now see, this could be interesting because if two characters come here, they're like, dude, people stay here, you know? Maybe, maybe there's a way out. You know, I don't, I don't want to give too much away. I'm putting this on YouTube. But this is kind of a cool area because look at the trees, kind of really fucking cool effect, you know? You don't really see these kind of the trees, especially creepy like this, man. This is fucking awesome. So, yeah. Backbreaking too, actually. I love how like the trees go. I could see this them being here at night, maybe. I don't know. So something to think about as we make our way past this area. Head down to a little lake. Actually, I remember this actually from a while ago. I would not have known unless I just walked down here. It's an interesting little box. Maybe the dead body could be in there. In the film. Not a real dead body, obviously. Oh my god, it's here! This is also an interesting area. You got a knockdown tree. You got the little lake back here, which is obviously frozen right now. And obviously shooting on a cloudy day, you know, when you don't have to, is obviously much more nicer because you have even lighting, but you can't always pick your days. So it is what it is. I would shoot on VHS. My only concern is a final export. I mean, a lot of it when you import it, especially with the capturing cards, looks very... I don't know, it looks very blocky and there's blocky artifacts and I don't know, it's just not, just a whole jumbled mess, so. But, for personal stuff, if you just wanna shoot, it's a really cheap way to do it. I mean, it's be expensive back in the day, think about it. Maybe over $900 for a camera, you know, and they still make VHS tapes, so that's good. So here's the sticks again. And this could be a trail, obviously. Try not to focus so much on trails, only for the fact that I don't want there to be, I don't want it to be well known that the characters are someone on the trail, because the trail obviously leaves somewhere lead to a certain place, you know. Um, obviously over there are the hills and whatnot. So I'm going to turn it off for now. And I'm going to head that way. So we are walking. Okay, now, off the trail, there's a section. I don't know how overgrown it's gonna be, but it is a mini trail, it seems. People have gone through here. We have to dodge some branches, but, you know, there's like a cool little, bridge. You know, a little water. So, probably walk over that little uh, plank. So, and obviously there's 
as you can hear there's an ocean close by actually I think that road goes straight down to the opening where the ocean is so let's say we go across here obviously stupidly as I'm about to do oh my goodness stupidly but graciously I might add Okay, we go across this broken ass piece of shit. Okay, now I remember this, because there has been these things here before, these wooden planks that go across here. So we can always cut and stop and then come up to certain areas in case we don't want to show main, you know, main walking areas. For example, the hell is a walking area, so maybe you trek into there a little bit. You know, but as you're going further, look at this. It's kind of really cool, actually. As you're going here, I don't know if you can see, there is an opening to the actual water. So I believe we're going to go all the way this way. We'll come out to the jetty. Maybe they start off kind of cool, not to start off, but at some point in the beginning, actually, look, this down tree is pretty, pretty rad, man. I love stuff like that, uprooted. So as we go around, I don't know if this would be filled or not, so probably, I don't know. So I'm trying to go around this little lake water thing. Now here's a trail here. Funny how it just clears out from the snow. Now here's like those, uh, the rye or whatever they are. Thoughts. Kind of here. Actually, I don't think I've been to this section, believe it or not. Maybe I have a long time ago. Put the person down there. So we can walk down this. Actually, I've never been down here. It's kind of an interesting. Actually, I have, but I haven't filmed down here, let's say. So this is kind of interesting because you got both sides. Maybe this could kind of be in the ending scene when he's running, you know? Could work, I mean, plan is to shoot with a dig digital Bolex because the organic feeling of it. Here's another entrance. The organic feeling, look at this cool tree. The organic feeling of shooting with a digital Bolex is good because one, you have a global shutter. Doubt these cameras do. CCD actually is not bad. Now a lot of the cameras have CMOS sensors. That's the problem. If you're doing a lot of running, doing a lot of handheld, over the shoulder, I guess over the shoulder is not as bad. But rolling shutter, man, that's that's something that a lot of lower end cameras, which is what most people can afford, can get now. I think here to stream. Oh wow, so this is I know where this is, okay. So that's where we are. Oh wow, we are really far down. <laughs> really far down. Well, my friend Lenny used to live there. Do we think? Okay. So we're actually, actually got a good wax to fix this. Um, locks. I see you walk across, not so stable. Little water area. I don't know if you guys can hear, but I'm hearing more of a more of the more of the wind, more of the. It's actually very exhilarating doing a walk over here. It's very nice, very peaceful. Look at this down tree. This is cool. So maybe the final run through here. By the way, he's a marathon runner. Okay, but I 
then actually you have something like this too, this area, but this will take you out, I believe. Now this is kind of cool to walk under. like this you could probably go up and shoot it but the audio is going to be different because you know, obviously you have you know this over here actually this area is going to be going alongside the jetty this is a cool area but again like i said you're going to hear you want to be in a secluded area you know maybe it's like a good final scene area thing alongside this road. I always thought the end of the film would be with the character walking along, running alongside a road. Obviously without the chainsaw chasing that person. Just thought about it. Time to do that run! 